Mitosis and Meiosis Biology 101 Lab Video Project by Andrew Ahern and Dane Moscone. All living organisms are made of cells. They serve as the building blocks for all life on Earth. The cell cycle has three components, interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Cell division occurs in the mitotic phase. Mitosis allows organisms to grow and sustain life. Cell replication is unique to living things. Mitosis is the process of condensing DNA into chromosomes. During this stage, the two sets of DNA are divided equally into two new identical cells. Our video uses candy to represent the phases of mitosis. Here the gummy bears represent the centrosomes. M&Ms make up the chromatin fibers, and the larger peanut M&Ms show the nuclear envelope. Most of a cell's life is spent in interphase. The G2 stage is right before the cell heads into mitosis. At this point, the DNA has been replicated, and centrosomes have been copied. In prophase, chromatin condenses into chromosomes, joined at the centromeres. The mitotic spindle also forms. In prometaphase, microtubules extend and attach to the kinetic core of each chromosome. The longest stage of mitosis is metaphase and is easily distinguished by chromosomes lined up on the metaphase plate. The shortest stage of mitosis is anaphase. Here, each chromatid is pulled apart and becomes a chromosome. In this phase, the number of chromosomes have doubled. The last phase of mitosis is telophase. Fragments of the nuclear envelope begin to form two genetically identical nuclei. Cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm by the formation of a cleavage furrow. Meiosis is a specialized cell division to form gametes. Unlike mitosis, meiosis produces haploid cells and helps contribute to the genetic variation of the species. Meiosis I separates homologous chromosomes while meiosis II separates sister chromatids. In prophase I, chromosomes condense and homologous chromosomes pair up. Here we see tootsie rolls representing chromosomes and the colored M&Ms designating pairs of homologous chromosomes. But remember, they are not identical. Crossing over occurs at the Chi's model and segments of DNA are switched between non-sister chromatids. Centrosomes have also started to drift to opposite poles, extending the microtubules and the nuclear envelope breaks down. In metaphase, homologous chromosomes line up along the metaphase plate. Microtubules grab the kinetic core of each homologue. Breakdown of proteins at the chiasmata cause the homologues to separate in anaphase. The sister chromatids move together to opposite poles. In telophase one, each half of the cell has a complete haploid set of chromosomes, each consisting of two sister chromatids. Cytokinesis occurs in animal cells by the formation of a cleavage furrow. Meiosis I is now complete. Two daughter cells will now undergo meiosis II to complete the second half of meiosis in order to separate sister chromatids. In prophase II, the spindle apparatus again forms and the chromosomes move toward the metaphase plate. Chromosomes are again lined up on the metaphase plate attached to microtubules at their kinetic core in metaphase II. But because of crossing over, the sister chromatids are no longer identical. In anaphase II, sister chromatids separate and move towards opposite poles. Each chromatid is now considered a chromosome. In telophase II, nuclei form and chromosomes decondense, and cytokinesis starts again in animal cells by a cleavage furrow. The result of one meiotic division is the conversion of one diploid parent cell into four haploid daughter cells that are each genetically different from the parent cell. Each of these four daughter cells has half as many chromosomes as its parent cell. This is a major contrast to mitosis, where we get two cells with the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. 